What is punk? Punk came about in the mid 1970s. It focused heavily on non-conformity, rebellion, and the rejection of many modern ideals. But how exactly does this relate to cinema? Let's start with the punk movement, the feminist punk movement. Riot Girl began in the early 1990s in the United States, specifically in Olympia, Washington. The movement then grew and reached over 26 other countries. The aim of this movement was to encourage young women to use their anger to speak out against political issues and to advocate for better rights. At the time, punk was seen as predominantly a male music genre and the movement allowed all girl punk bands to have a chance in the spotlight. Riot Girls had a positive impact on women's rights and gave hope to many girls around the world. However, it would be foolish of me to disregard the fact that this movement had its flaws. In many cases, the Riot Girl movement excluded trans women, black women, as well as many women of colour. In basic terms, they pretty much excluded any woman who didn't fit into the category of cis, white and middle class. If you know anything about feminism, you'll understand that this entirely goes against the fundamental core values of feminists. Kind of seems like a step back to me. I started inkling a year into it, like started feeling funny about it just in terms of my whole position with punk rock and Riot Girl because, you know, it was an odd position to be in many times, only the only person of color there, feeling like no one gave a shit. It was a empowering movement for them that was really only relative to a white middle class punk girl. It just became depressing, like really hurtful to see that it would only go so far. This is only what it is. It's only for certain people and it was extremely frustrating to like start realizing that these are my people. Documentaries play a key role in allowing people to have a voice. In an article written by Bill Nichols, he suggests documentaries always were forms of representation, never clear windows onto reality. As much as I agree with this statement, I can also acknowledge that any documentary should be viewed and understood in the same way as any piece of media. Social media, for example, is filled with fake news. Yes, this can be scary, but this is why we check up on facts and use reliable sources to uncover the truth. After I watch a documentary, I often do separate research research to see if stories line up, and I can usually tell when a documentary is being biased. In this case, when people are discussing their own personal experiences, I believe documentaries can have a huge positive impact on these voices being heard, as long as these voices aren't being manipulated into something entirely different. Now there's tons more information out there about the Riot Girl movement and its impact on third wave feminism, which I won't be able to fit into a five minute video, but hopefully you should have at least a basic understanding on Riot Girl and its many flaws. I'm going to be talking about a film that came out in 2021 called Moxie, directed by Amy Powler. This film was adapted from a book by Jennifer Mayhew and pretty much took the Riot Girl movement and presented it in a modern high school setting. I understand what this film was trying to do and I believe that it had potential to be a great film, but it definitely lacked self-awareness in some aspects. The film is told from the perspective of the main character and essentially hero, Vivian. Vivian is a straight teenage white girl who starts out as timid and eventually comes out of her shell. She also essentially saves the day by the end of the film. Mox Moxie includes a lot of token characters that I feel were just there to make the movie more diverse. It sucks because yes Vivian is a girl but she is also very privileged and I would have much preferred to see this story from a different character's perspective. Moving on from some of the negative aspects of the feminist punk movement, I do believe film is influenced positively by it too. Tank Girl was released in 1995 and was directed by Rachel Talali. This movie was based on a British comic series. Overall, I thought this film was honestly really really good, especially considering considering it was released in mid-90s. Unlike Moxie, the plot of Tank Girl actually has nothing to do with feminism, and yet we can still see that feminist punk has influenced the aesthetic and personality of Rebecca Buck's character, who is also known as Tank Girl. Tank Girl absolutely embraces non-conformity with the way she dresses, her multiple unique hairstyle changes, and her strong and persevering personality. She doesn't care what people think of her, which I really admire. When Tank Girl was first released, it received a lot of negative feedback from critics and only recouped 6 million US dollars of its 25 million dollar budget. Near the end of the post-production process, the studio interfered with the Tank Girl editing process and removed at least one hour of footage that they deemed not appropriate. Over the years, Tank Girl gained more popularity and is now deemed as a cult classic. 
Overall, I think we can say without a doubt that feminist punk has influenced cinema in a number of ways. If you look carefully, even films that don't directly correlate to punk have aspects that stemmed and were inspired by the movement. Ramona Flowers from Scott Pilgrim has multiple hair colour changes throughout the film, and her style is generally classed as alt. In fact, even Weird Barbie from the newest Barbie movie has non-conformity tropes and rebels from the norms of how most Barbies act. The concept of rebelling and going against the norms appears all throughout film, and I believe punk has had a big part to play in it.